やーもーやいのばだやいのばだよぼぼっさんガーイズ Yo, it's story time Friday. Y'all know what day it is. Y'all know what's going on. I got another story for y'all today. This story time, guys, this story time takes place. Mmm. Was I five? Was I six? Was I seven? Six, seven ish. Anyway, I was around six or seven when the story took place, guys. As you can tell by the title, yes, I ran away from home. And I'm gonna tell you why I did it. Y'all gonna understand my reasoning in a little bit. So let's get right into the story. So y'all, growing up, your boy had it all, you know, cause like, my parents definitely believed in, like if you get good grades, you know, you should get rewarded for it. So like, me being like the little nerdy kid that I was, I had all I wanted for like, every time I got a good grade on something, like, all I wanted was a new video game. That's it, simple. Like, I was just like, you know what, just give me a new video game. But I, it just wasn't no, like any video game. Like I wanted like the new, like whatever new was coming out, I wanted it. I didn't care what it was. I had, I literally had, for her song. I literally had like every single video game growing up. I literally had over a hundred video games. Easy, over a hundred video games. I had the GameCube. Some of y'all don't even know what the GameCube was. Y'all don't even know what the GameCube is. Some of y'all. Y'all know what the game, the GameCube? Y'all know what that is? Some of y'all like, GameCube, what is that? I had a GameCube, I had the original PlayStation, not the PlayStation 4, people, no. I was talking about the PlayStation, the original. Had the PlayStation, what else I have? I think the, y'all don't know about that. Sega! <laughs> y'all know about that, with all the games. I had the Mario Party, the Mario Kart, the Luigi's Mansion, y'all don't know about the Luigi's Man Mansion, the Mega Man, y'all don't know about Mega Man. Y'all don't know about Mega Man, come on now, come on now. Zelda, Smash Bros, the original, the Melee, the Melee, have you ever seen, the original Smash Bros, NFL Blitz, Madden, NBA Street, I don't know about NBA Street, with the Game Breaker, with the Game Breaker, with the ga With the Game Breaker. I used to trade games and I used to borrow games and never give them back to some of my friends, my fault. But, it don't matter, I had over 100 games. This is what happened. I'm sitting in my room after school after a lovely day of hard working at school. I'm sitting in my room enjoying me a nice video game. I'm playing Mario Party, you know. I'm using Donkey Kong because Donkey Kong is the OG. Shout out to Donkey Kong, that's my guy. You know, I'm using I'm using Donkey Kong, you know, minding my own business, playing the game, right? A mom walks in, right? She's like, Lee, we need to talk. About what? She's like, um, your dad's away for the weekend. We need money to eat tonight. You know, and I don't want to have to ask your father for money because I just asked him for money. So we're going to have to um, sell your games um, to GameStop to get some money back for them. Excuse me, excuse me, man. We're gonna have to do what? We're gonna have to do. We're gonna have. We're gonna have to do what, mom? I don't. I don't think I understand you correctly. We're gonna, we're gonna have to do what? What was that? We're gonna have to do what? Lee, we're gonna have to sell your games to GameStop for cash back because we need the money right now. The money for what, mom? The money to eat? I don't. There's no. I don't have to eat. I don't have. To, I don't have to eat. I don't have to eat, mom. It's okay. I don't have to eat. It's, it's okay, it's perfectly fine. I'm, I'm good, you're not taking my game. This is a this is 100 games. When she told me that, that she has to take my games and sell them in to GameStop for money back as a child, as a child. Do you know how upset I was? I didn't understand at the time as a kid, you know? She just like, I just, you just coming in and just taking my games. That's a part of me. That's a part of me. And you just gonna take it right out. That's that's cruel. I'm crying because she's out here snatching up all the games up, unplugging everything. You know, she's like, we need we need the money, Lee. We need the money right now. Just like um, I'm gonna give it back to you. She ain't never giving back to when 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 your mom and be like, I'm gonna give it back. Nah, you ain't never getting. You ain't getting it back. You ain't getting it back. She's snatching up all the games. She's snatching up these games left, right, you know. I'm talking about we going to GameStop with crates of games. Like, big old boxes 
full of games, like 25 games of each thing. The GameCube, the PlayStation, the Sega is all boxed up. And we go into GameStop in there. And I'm gonna tell you how much the games. This was this was when GameStop was prime. When I tell you guys how much we got back from all these games, you're gonna understand how many games I actually had. So we're at the cash register. You know, I'm crying. The manager's swiping. I'm just crying. Why you doing this to me? Why you doing this to me, man? Why you doing this? To me? This man is out here scanning it, just laughing. Beep. Beep. You little beep. I'm crying. I am in tears this whole time. The total to these games, guys, was $147.36. I ain't forget about this. You know, I ain't forget. I ain't forget. No. I ain't. That was. That was. That was that was emotional. $147? Guys, if you go to GameStop today and try to trade in 100 games, you're getting 25 cents back nowadays. Nowadays. I'm just saying, am I lying? Am I lying? I'm not. So I'm furious. I'm getting back in the car. You know, I'm not saying a word. You know, at this, this point, I'm past the point of crying. You know, I'm already just upset, just mad in the, in the seat. You know, when you're mad, you just start breathing heavy. <laughs> The next day goes by, you know. I get out of school at 3.30. I get home from school about 4 o'clock. My mom comes home from work at 5 o'clock. You know what I'm thinking in my head? You know what? I'm like, you know what? I'm over this whole situation. I'm running away. I peace out. I'm upset. You know, mom, when you come home at 5 o'clock, I'm not going to be here. I'm not going to be here. I'm out. I'm running away. Y'all ain't never finding me again. I get my book bag, my Spider-Man book bag. Don't forget, don't forget about it. I make me four peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, and I grab me four bottles of water. I'm like, yo, this is this will last me about a week, you know. I take about two bites every like couple hours, you know, and I'll be all right for about a week, you know. With four sandwiches and four waters, like I thought it was gonna be good for a week, guys. So I take, I put it all in my book bag, guys. I grab me a blanket. I was like, I don't even need a pillow. Right? That's too much to carry. I grab me a blanket, put it in my book bag, guys, and I'm out of my house. I'm, you know, I'm running away. I'm gone. So in my neighborhood, there was this um, playground in the middle of my neighborhood. So, you know, like, I'm just like, you know, I'm going to stay in this playground for like, as long as I need, you know, the playground's pretty fun, you know, like, I'm, I'm having a good time, you know, like, maybe somebody come and just like, adopt me real fast or something like that. I was, I don't know, I don't know. I was just thinking crazy at six years old. I didn't know, I didn't know seven years old maybe, but still. It gets to five o'clock, I'm looking at my phone. I'm like, okay, mom should be getting home right about now. Like, oh, ha, she gonna try to call me and ask me where, I'm, where I am. Um, no call at five o'clock. So I'm like, okay, maybe she's running a little late, you know. It gets to 5.30, 5.45-ish, you know, like, I'm like, okay, like, where's, where's she at? Where's mom at? Like, what is she doing? What are you, what are you doing, mother? Are you okay? Like, what's up? No call. You know, I, I'm, at this point, I already finished like two sandwiches. I already drank like two bottles of water. I'm like, yo, I don't know. I gotta slow down. I gotta, this gotta last me a week. I gotta slow this down. Come on now. So I got two sandwiches left and two bottles of water left. I'm like, oh my gosh, like, I might have to go get some more stuff. So I'm just playing on the jungle gym, looking at my stuff, you know, playing with some coloring books, you know, playing on the swing set, you know. There was a couple kids at the park, you know, I was just like, you know, I'm just kind of. I'm just out here just playing, you know, I'm just having to get some exercise in. It's about 8.30 now, right? Where is my mom at? Why hasn't she called me? She probably don't even care about me anymore, bro. I'm running away. She didn't even call to see where I'm at. Like, she don't even care. You don't even care that I ran away, really? Over the whole situation. You know, I'm packing up my stuff. I'm, only, I'm down to my last two bites of my sandwich. I got, like, this much in my bottle of water, you know. And you know what? I'm like, you know what? I'm going home and I'm going to tell my mother off. I'm telling her off. Like, why? What kind of mother are you just leaving your kid to run away and not look for him? What are you doing? I'm, I went to go tell. I was going to tell her off. I'm going to tell her off when I walk in this door. I like seven years old. I pack my stuff up. You know, I'm, I'm mad. I'm mad. I'm, I go home, right? I open the door. I look around. Ain't nobody there. I'm like, hold up. Where's she at? Where's she at? Where you at, mom? Where you at? I look at my phone, no call. I'm looking around. Guys, I kid you not. I kid you not. 
two minutes later, my mom walks in right behind me and she's like, she was like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I got, I got off late. You know, I had to wait for this one child's mother to pick her up from the daycare. So she don't know that I ran away. Lee, where you been? Like, what's up? Like, how you, how you doing? Like, where you been? I was just like, oh, I just went to the store real quick and picked up some, um, some food. And I just came right back. Like, I, but I was just chilling here doing my homework and stuff. Um, but yeah, that's about it. And she's like, oh, okay. So you telling me I ran away for about five hours, right? For about five hours. And you didn't even know? Like, that was a sign. That was a sign from the Lord. That was like, Lee, you tried it. Next time, there ain't gonna be no next time because I picked up on the sign. So yes, guys, I ran away from home for five hours and my mom didn't even know I ran away. No one knew I ran away to this day. I literally just told my mom about this story like, like last week. More of the story, guys, do not run away from home because it's not gonna ever go well. I tried to run away from home and no one even cared. No one even knew, put it that way. But yes, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that story time, guys. Make sure to leave a like, drop a comment. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, guys. Turn on those post notifications, guys. New video coming tomorrow. My sister's coming back. We better bang all these videos. Let me know if you ever tried to run away. I will see you guys. Whoa! Next time. Peace! Hey! Now, now that I'm thinking about it, you know, after all these years, I was like, bro, you have money. Dog, she owned a daycare center. In, in New York. All them baby mamas out there in the world, you know, in New York, they just, they just be popping out babies at the right. She had like 50 kids at this day. So I'm like, oh, you got, hold up, mom. It's not funny. Now I'm thinking about it today. Hold up, mom. Where's my games at, mom? Where's my games at? Where's my games at? Where's my games at, though? Where they at, though? I want all my games back today. For Christmas this year, I want all my games back.